Hello guys, it's Ellen here. Are we in the forest or the pumpkin patch? Today we're gonna have fun painting this little creepy little mystical pumpkin patch painting. Uh, it's a little wet on wet, just simple, fun, easy to do. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. Also check out my um, Amazing Art channel. It's also on the about page. And let's get started. All right, so I'll go over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's seven by 10 inch. I tape it down with scotch tape to a piece of cardboard. My palette with my paints in it. And I go over my paints. I always have them in the description box. I use Holbein because I love the colors on them. I have Quinacridone Magenta, Brilliant Orange, uh, Peacock Blue. I don't know if I'll be using Prussian Blue today. Van Dyke Brown, I'm using uh, gouache. Um, you know, you can use wash similar to watercolor. Um, olive green and I have my cabin yellow deep um, I'll go over my brushes as I use them I have my water jars up here I usually have like two or three of them and I'll be using a flat wash brush and then a, a couple of um, other regular type of brushes that I use, normally use like a Princeton number 8 long round or a Grumbacker number 10 depending on what I'm going to do so for the beginning of this um, you don't really need a drawing tutorial. We're just going to use th three quarters of the way down. We're going to wet the whole thing, but we're going to miss the, the grays going down. So this this pumpkin patch field, the background is going to be like this misty gray, spooky kind of quality. So I take my flat wash brush and I can just go across three quarters of the way down, just like that. That's my dog. I'll get him in a minute. And it's going to do the top top half like where the sky will be and I mixed up some bluish gray colors just some gray with some I mean black with some blue and I'm just going to wash that just like so just going to put that up in here Ooh, blue in that color and you can let that bleed down because we want this really light tone just by lifting up the, uh, the cardboard like this, it just naturally bleeds down the color. Get a little more gray. A little black, so a little darker gray up here. So just letting that all kind of go down. If it doesn't go down, you can take a, a Mr. Sprayer bottle. Um, I have one of them over here. This one's empty, but you just squirt the water and it just goes down. But just holding it like this and then lift up this little part over here that's not cooperating. Again, just put some more color in here if it's not cooperating. And it should just bleed down, downward. Just like so. Adding some more gray down in here. We're just doing this top half. Okay, so this is starting to like, it's still damp. It's starting to dry. I'm gonna lift this up a little more so I want this colors to bleed down better. And I want it a little darker on top. So I'm gonna add a little more of this blue, almost black. Get this darker color. I want it to go in here. You can kind of moon around like clouds. Just want it a little darker on top. See, I'm lifting it up. And you get that spooky sky. Okay, so it should be, you know, it should be drying. Just put a little more clouds in here. So you can do clouds with a flat wash brush and just kind of push them in like this. That's good enough. Okay, so it's starting to dry, still damp though. I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take my Grumbacker. It's a little wider. I'm just going to put in some like background trees. Again with that grayish tone here. This grayish, blackish tone. Not too watery, but not too dark either. So it will kind of bleed out. I'm testing it on my paper towel. I want a little more blue in tone. Take off some of the paint on my paper towel and then I'm just gonna 
put in some just little, little trees. I'm just gonna jag it back and forth like this. See that? Mystical trees. Just moving that. Start from the top. And you can put some other trees. Just with that light gray color. Jagged it. Like that. It's not going to be um, a winter scape, but we're just doing some of these mystical trees in the back. While it's still damp, not super wet. It won't hold the, the color or the shape. And then you can put like another mystical, just like a normal tree. So like tall just lines like a tree and then there's these sporadic leaves like it's a tall tree leaves. I'll do another one here. So you're showing different types of trees, not just these pine trees. And then some background foliage. Just like that. And that's kind of dry. Meanwhile, back at the farm, <laughs> we're going to do the bottom half. Okay. And we're going to mix up some golden tones and browns. Um, I have Cabin Yellow Deep here. I have my Van Dyke Brown, Brilliant Orange. Oops, a little too much orange. That orange is so intense that I gotta remove it. It's really intense. So we want this um, this foreground to be like an orange, green, and brown tones. So we're gonna get those all ready at the same time because we're gonna do this wet and wet again. And then we'll be bleeding into each other. Just getting some more of this Van Dyke Brown paint really loose. Okay, take the flat wash brush again. All right, go on the bottom half. Get it all nice and wet. Not super wet. Just want to get it damp enough to cover two spots. Okay, now we're going to start washing in some golden and yellow and brown tones. So it means really bright right now, but it's gonna get it's gonna change. Get some nice bright yellows. Don't worry if it bleeds up a little bit on here, because we're gonna be doing some grasses and it's not gonna really matter. Then we're gonna throw in some browns. It's Van Dyke Brown. this yellow again. You can get it even darker in certain parts. Grab your gray that you had before and throw that in. So we're getting this nice little like dead field. You know the pumpkin patches are done like dead green fields. Grab some of that green, throw that in certain areas. Washing it in. So it's going to blend nicely because it's going to look like, you know, the field has been, the greenery has died and the field's been picked over. Get this brown, add a little black to that. Just getting back in here. Some more golden color. Play around with it. It doesn't have to be this perfect looking colored field. Just 
this is just like the bottom layer of what we're going to be doing. I'm going to add some more of those grays. They should start to blend pretty nicely. Even some black right in there. And more of that golden yellow. And some more of that green. Okay, once you've got this done, it might be still too wet, but we can try and whoosh up, whoosh up, put in some like nice um, stalks, like corn stalks that have been broken down. I see it's bloomed up a little bit here, but that's okay because we're going to make to our advantage. I'm just going to put these little, I'm going to wrap some over my Van Dyke Brown. If you don't like the way that looks, it's fine. You can just go back over and kind of lift it up a little bit. If you want to take it up, here's your paintbrush and just remove it a little bit. But to me, it looks good. You can just take some parts of that and just go like this, stocky grass. And then it doesn't look like it's some weird bloom that decided to go up. And get some darker brown. Put that in there. Then it makes more sense, right? Just pushing up some color stalks. Now we could start to put in some of the pumpkins. They might bleed out too much. So let's put, let's try it. It looks a little too damp though. Um, we want it damp but not super wet and it looks kind of like it's been a lot of water going in around here so we're gonna just play around with it first. I've got this that's really bright. We've got to tone that down. I might add some Van Dyke Brown to that. A little bit of yellow. And less water too, less will bleed so let's throw in a little pumpkin see how much it's gonna bleed. Alright, not so bad. Let's see if it keeps bleeding. Mm. It's a little bleedy. So what I suggest is that we dry it and then come back so it doesn't become this blobby orange mess. All right, so I dry it with my hair dryer. I'm gonna go back in with the brush and put in tons of pumpkins. So let this dry. I'm just gonna put in a lot of pumpkins in here. All different sizes. We'll go in and add um, the various tones to them. I'm just gonna get the pumpkins in first though. And there'll be a lot of them. You don't want just a few, you want a good amount. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my Grumbacker. Better for this. I'm put a bunch of pumpkins. Now you could have, if you wanted to, did some masking um, fluid in the beginning where the pumpkins are. So they can be brighter and lighter, but I'm not going to do that. It's going to make your life a little bit easier. You just want to put a bunch of them all random going around different sizes because in the pumpkin patch they're all different sizes gonna grab some mass magenta throw it in even some brown some of the sides and the pumpkins so what I want you to do is just go around and just place in the orange where you want the pumpkins to be. See, I'm just doing a bunch of sporadic pumpkins here. Grab some yellow. If you put a little yellow on one side, like right here, and then the pumpkin orange on the other side, it just brightens it up a little bit more. And then as you're doing them, add a little dark red, see I have like a dark reddish orange color. 
I'm doing it like on the side. It can almost be like brownish, blackish red. See, I'm doing that here. Just putting in all my little pumpkins. And then as you put them in, you can take some tones of the black and brown and the green. Kind of go next one, because they look like they're kind of floating, right? So you want to go next to them. Again, adding the greens. Just keep adding some browns and blacks and grays to the side of them like this. And as they're drying, we're going to start putting in some stocks and whatnot also. When we had these dark tones. See, I'm just going in here with my Grimbracker. They still don't have any. I'm going to put some small ones out here. More yellow orange out here. More yellow tonal pumpkins out here. Just a bunch of them. Gonna go crazy. And it's really just loose, you know, you don't have to make them perfect. And as I draw, like I said, you go in and add some browns and some blacks, some greens, just like right next to them. I'm gonna add some greenery. I wait till they I would wait till they completely dry to put any stalks in front of them. But as they're drying on the sides, you can kind of throw in the colors. like that. Get some more green. So I'm doing this pretty fast and pretty loose. Get some more of this golden color coming in here. Just like that. And then um, as it's drying, you can take the Princeton brush and you can put some of these like cornstalk Get some dark brown blacks. Just gonna go like this up in front of them. Really loose. Aww. And then we're gonna add like, some creepy trees. This is just supposed to be a loose, fun tutorial. See, I'm just adding these little stalks in and around the pumpkins. Just the dark brown. of black. Just like so. Okay, so now go back out here and I'm going to add some grasses, some golden yellow grasses back here. When that paint dried, you can add some tall grasses. See, I'm just taking my brush and flipping it up. Just this upward motion. So the background could have these pretty tall grasses. So that bloom that cat created from the paint bleeding into the other paint doesn't look so weird. Throwing in some yellow colors. Just wants to be loose. And like I said again, you can add some more reddish orange tones to the side of the pumpkins. Red or orange. As many as you want. It's just a little pumpkin patch. Now I'm going to add a black creepy tree. So take a nice brush. It should have a nice point to it. I got my black paint over here. You can see in the right a little bit. And just make these just really kind of wonky creepy tree. So I'm going to start with the bottom here. It's going to just kind of split off. Use the point like that. Just a black creepy tree. And it splits like this. And like that. Split like that. So you're starting to build a creepy tree. 
You could draw it in and then start to paint it if, that, if you feel more comfortable. I'm just putting in a creepy, creepy old tree. And you want to get really tiny little branches coming off that. So just like that little teeny weeny creepy old tree branches. The teenier the better. That might take some time, so you're gonna have to play around with adding in all the creepy little tree branches. They should go from bigger to smaller to smaller. And we could put a smaller tree in over here. Creepy little tree. And it really looks like that it's in the creepy Halloween time. And like I said, you just grab this your brush and just keep adding little teeny strokes. Now if this brush isn't skinny enough, you can use like a rigger brush, a liner brush. Those help. And you're just gonna keep doing it until you get really teeny weeny. Teeny weeny 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 weeny. Weeny little branches branching off from the other branches. Sorry if my voice sounds late, it's just uh, I'm standing up trying to paint this. <laughs> the more little light ones off the ones that you do better. And just put a bunch of them because then it's going to be even more creepier. Now you really want it nice and creepy. That's the whole point, right? So it looks like a mystical. That's why we did all the mystical stuff in the background. Does it make sense now? So I'm going to keep continuing doing my little tree branches and then we'll come back. Okay, so once you've finished doing a million like of those twigs or whatever, you can go back in and add in some more of these dark grasses coming up from over where the trees are, like a little shadow. So there's not some random thing here. Just add in some more of those dark grasses. And again, down in here. And you're just gonna keep playing around with adding some green and some browns, some yellows and some oranges. You can add some little bit of green stems to the pumpkins. No. But they're loose, so we're not gonna go crazy. And like I said, you can go ahead and add some stems down the foreground. That's my paint to get dry here. Just keep playing around with it. Some more green. See, I'm just randomly throwing in some green like that. And there's your like mystical pumpkin patch. And we'll just lift this up. The tape must come off. Oh, I can't get anything. I can't get it off today. Okay. There we go. We have our mystical pumpkin patch. Woo! Like I said, you can go to town on the tree. Um, be fun. But that's the whole reason why I did this background trees. It's like, it's really like a cloudy, mystical day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> Sorry for mumbling. Saturday, tired. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to check out my Patreon of exclusive tutorials and downloads over there. I have some fun um, Halloween uh, traceables there. And uh, my Amazing Art channel, which is an acrylic channel on my, my Bob page, you can see that. So thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great weekend. Take care.